Hey guys, it's Rebecca Brissett. So a few days ago, actually it's probably been more like a week, I tried out the samples of, I'm sorry, I just love the, the way they smell, the Love Beauty and Planet. This is the, the Smooth and Serene Shampoo and Conditioner with Argan Oil and Lavender. I did get a gift card from a subscriber for Amazon. And what I did was I turned around and purchased a kit that has the shampoo, the conditioner, and a treatment in it. It did arrive today. I ordered it, I think, Friday, maybe Thursday, and it arrived today. It did come in a big box, and then this box was inside, which you would think Amazon would do what the box says and just stick the label on it, and the information for it is actually on the side. But no, they gotta put it in another box, even though I don't have Amazon Prime. So inside the box came a shampoo and conditioner. I did just get out of the shower. These are wet. These are three point or 13.5 ounces each. But when I picked these up, I was like, oh, there's like something on the label and I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it. But the side is raised all the way around here is raised. Beauty and Planet is also raised. And the little lavender heads on the back are also raised. So I was like, that's kind of neat. That I've never seen a company do that with raised flowers on the packaging. And again, it still smells just like the sample packets that I got from Ulta. It smells amazing. I want a perfume in this. I would I would wear this every day. So, and it's, it's funny, the shampoo and conditioner, um, I did do like a first impressions of it. And I love on the, on, on the back, it says, how to use. And I don't know how well this is gonna come across on camera. There you go, you can see it now. But it says, you know it, squeeze, lather, rinse, go easy on the top. I'm gonna have to like, I will send a message to the company either on Instagram or Twitter, and I'll include screenshots in the end of this video as to why they don't want you to put the shampoo or the conditioner or the treatment product on your scalp. Now, granted, um, I have textured hair. My hair is wavy, it's coarse. So I put it on my scalp. You know, you figure that's where the oil comes from. And again, the conditioner has the same non-idiot instructions. I mean, every, everybody knows how to shampoo and conditioner their hair for the most part, but it does say avoid the roots, go easy on the top. So um, I would love to know why. And all the information on here is the same that is printed on the back of these. So this is the treatment product. It says leave in smoothie cream, calming definition for frizzy hair and acts of love for our planet. It says on the back, calm your frizz, your frizz for hair that's oh so smooth. This leave-in cream infused with golden argan oil nourishes for healthy looking hair, delicately surrounds your hair in a cloud of heirloom French lavender. How to use. To avoid unwanted frizz, spread five to eight pumps of cream evenly through wet or dry hair. Using hands, obviously. Work it. Avoid roots, no need to rinse. And I will, I'm like, these people have like thought of everything. Of course, again, idiot free instructions i'm like th this is so funny and this is a four ounce bottle um there wasn't a packing slip of my order but i paid 19 dollars 95 cents for this it was free shipping on amazon of course i'm not an affiliate with these people nor am i an affiliate with amazon and the shampoo and conditioner let's see if i can find where i stuck them they're clear had these little round discs just kind of like they were this is actually how they were on the bottles it was like, boop. I'm like, wait a minute. That's not, you know, really doing anything. I'm guessing it was supposed to be down to show that it was sealed because there was no internal seal. I really didn't care. Um, they were, they were slap full all the way up to the neck. So I figured, you know, they had to be brand new. Okay. So it said five to eight pumps. Usually for the liquid oils that I use in my hair, I do use close to that amount. Let me get my hair out of the towel throw my towel up here before I can hang it up in a minute and I haven't brushed my hair or anything usually if I'm gonna put product in my hair I usually don't brush it put product in and then brush it out I did comb it out in the shower though so don't freak out about that so it's locked hello these are very very small pumps like bloop. there's five right there so I think I will do eight. Okay, so there's eight pumps total. Now granted, my, oh, you can't even see my hair, it's so long. Okay, now you can see my hair. It goes down way past my waist. So I'm gonna spread it through 
flip over and I'm gonna work it into the ends first like I normally would and I do like spin my hair when I am putting product in it and I like massage it in between my hands but just because I know me and I know what my hair does around my face I'm gonna take three more and massage it through my scalp area because that's what I would do with my other oils. I can understand if people have oily scalps or something like that, not to do that, but I don't. My scalp is very dry. My skin is very dry and I just got out of the shower. You can see how red parts of my face are. My face is so dry right now, it's actually burning. Okay, so I'm going to tip you a little bit. I'm gonna grab my brush and so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully I have enough mic to reach. I'm gonna get in the shower and brush my hair since you can't see me. There you go. You can't see me at the counter do it. And standing on the edge of the shower is, well, I'm klutzy so I'd fall off. So I start by combing the hair on the top of my head back. Usually I don't have snarls there. Then I'll wrap, I'll grab my hair and flip it around the front and then start on the ends. And you you should, if you're brushing out hair, no matter what length it is, especially if it's wet, start at the ends and work your way up. That way you end up with less breakage, less breakage and less damage dripping on me. I must have touched the hose and the shower head dripped on me. And I'm wearing a black shirt so it's probably hard for you to see how long my hair is. Hence the reason why I'm behind the white or in front of the white tile. Because there is moisture collecting at the ends of my hair, which is typical, I'm going to blot off the ends with my towel. And now you can see just how long my hair is. It comes all the way down to here. Let me pull my pants a little over or higher so you can actually see just how long it is. Ow. I'm gonna slip and fall and laugh. It smells just like, well, I guess I need to rearrange you. Hey. Um, it smells just like the other, the shampoo and conditioner, the leave-in product, which I wouldn't expect it not to smell like the leave-in product or the, the shampoo and conditioner because it's all from the same, you know, smooth and serene line. So they do have other leave-in products, some that have like rose. I, I saw one that had like coconut hibis hibiscus. There was one with um, sandalwood, which I love the smell of sandalwood. And always remember to clean out your brush when you are done brushing your hair. It keeps bacteria down and it keeps, um, just keeps things a little bit more sanitary. So it's not quite as thick as the other creams and stuff that I use in my hair, which is probably a good thing because some of the other creams that I use are more like, they feel more like lotion, like body lotion versus, uh, you know, something you would put in your hair, except for the oils I use. And then this is the conditioner. This sucker is like not, not going anywhere. I mean, I had to like really like work it in order to get it to come out. The shampoo is this like pearly, pearly white color. I'm not quite sure if you're going to be able to see that without me decorating the counter. The only drawback to this kind of bottle is when I had it sitting just kind of on like the shelf in my shower and water hit it. When I popped the top and went to do this with the shampoo, water was actually trapped in the top of the lid. So I would recommend keeping this out of the direct line of fire for your shower head or 
whatever spigot that you've got in your shower. So that is my first impression. I mean, my, my hair feels soft. Um, and of course, because I just brushed it, it's not going to be as wavy as it would if I had just kind of left it alone. The real test is going to be what it looks like in the morning and how snarled it gets. And so when I get up in the morning, I will do another like video. I'll merge these two together to let you know how I feel about it in the morning and I'll probably brush it out then as well. But so far I'm liking it. I love the way it smells. Don't get me wrong. I still love the soapbox soap shampoo and conditioner, the tea tree one, but I figured it was time for me to try something new. So anyways, I will see you guys in just a little bit. You will see me in the morning and I'll have dry hair. So I'll see you then. Hey guys, it's Rebecca Burstatt. So I said I would do a morning look at what my hair is doing. And I think I figured out why they say don't put it on your scalp area. My up here where I did put it feels like, I don't know if I could even say this, thicker than my normal hair. Uh, it is still, it's very soft. It It's not frizzy as bad as I would normally have with any other shampoo. So my waves are nicely defined. The only thing I don't like about my hair, which it's just my hair, is like, it's kind of like stringy looking down here at the bottom. And some people really love that. Some people really like the fact that their hair is like defined like this, but this this stuff down here drives me absolutely nuts. This, this little stringy piece. So what I'm gonna do really quick is just comb out the very ends and see if it like meshes with, and I'm using the wide tooth side of the comb, see if it meshes better with my hair as an overall look. Yeah, it just kind of smoothed out the ends. And <laughs> my hair is so long, I kind of have to hold it up. But it smoothed the ends out so my hair looks more uniform. at the bottom and it's not, it didn't like frizz out as bad as I was anticipating, which is nice. And you can still see the waves in my hair. Let me hold it up against the white. So you can see the wave in my hair here. And I tried really hard not to like pull my hair back. I did have to run to Walmart last night and pick up stuff so that we didn't like wait to the last minute to get a, a chicken for Thanksgiving. So I did pull my hair back, but it was pulled back at the base of my neck. So let's see what my hair does when I put it up. For, for whatever reason, my hair actually feels thicker than it usually does. And usually when I brush my hair out, when it's, when it's dry, my hair feels thicker anyways. Okay, I got it up. So it's, it's actually not bad. I mean, it's pretty tame for my hair and I didn't use anything other than the products from um, the kit. So I'm really happy with the results. What I would probably do is add in maybe the other argan oil that I've got so that I've got more moisture in my hair and I've got this like little crazy curl right here. Let me show you what happens when I get it wet. It's like almost like a Superman curl, except for all it wants to do is like frizz. And I've got like baby hairs over here. And that stuff really doesn't bother me. It's just, it goes poof real easy. So anyways, I'm Rebecca Overset. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, first impressions review. I had already used the shampoo and conditioner, but using the leave-in uh, smoothie cream was a first for me as of last night. So I am looking forward to using this, but trying it with the argan oil that I do put in my hair. Um, I use two different types of oils. I use the Marvelous Oil and then the Moroccan Sleek. And yes, these are uh, over the counter. These are from Garnier. Uh, I think one costs like $5 and change and the other one costs like seven or $8. And I think they sell this individually for like 10 bucks. And the shampoo and conditioner in that size are between eight uh, I think it's $8.99 for that size bottle, but you can get a large bottle for cheaper than that. So, well, it's it's cheaper via the ounce. It's still going to be like, I think it's $17 for, I think it's 24 ounces, 26 ounces. And these little guys are 13, yeah, 13 and a half ounces. 
on the shampoo and conditioner, but something like this will last me. I know the Soapbox Soap Shampoo is 16 ounces in that I still have product left in it. So if I use it like every, every time I wash my hair and that's two shampoos and one conditioner uh, every two days, the shampoo and conditioner should last me at least three months. But because this is so dense, it's so thick, I don't think I will be running through this product as easily as I would a shampoo that has a thinner, or conditioner for that matter, that has a thinner consistency. So that is my thoughts on that right now. If you want to see more hair videos, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I have actually had people ask me to do like an ASMR video where I'm brushing my hair. And because the microphone on my device doesn't work, I do have to use a little external mic. So I'm not quite sure how that would work with the sound of me brushing using this little guy, but this little guy seems to do a pretty good job. And it's pretty long. So anyways, I'm Rebecca Versat. Hopefully you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in a video real soon.